Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor, and we're going to continue with our screencasts on math and JavaScript. In the previous two screencasts, we discussed the HTML and CSS that created this little web page, and we also talked about the add operator and how it actually concatenates text and why these numbers are actually strings to begin with and how to change them into numbers to make sure that our plus operator is treated as a mathematical addition instead of a string concatenation. In this screencast, we're going to talk about the equal sign and how that is fundamentally different between math and all modern programming languages. The equal sign in math class means the left-hand side needs to be equal to the right-hand side. And whatever you do on the left-hand side must be done to the right-hand side to solve your equation. But the equal sign in JavaScript in all modern languages means something vastly different. It does not mean that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So we should not say is equal to when we see that symbol. What it means in languages, JavaScript and all modern programming languages, it's an assignment statement. It's assigning whatever this value is to this variable. So it's actually calculating the right-hand side of this statement first and whatever comes of that, it's putting that information into this variable. And I've declared n1, n2, operator, and answer as constants because they're not going to change. Those four values are coming off my web page. So they're not going to change in a single execution of this function. So instead of declaring them with var or let, which allow n1, n2, operator, and answer to change later on in the code, I'm declaring them as constants because I do not want them to be changing when this calculate answer function runs. The result, however, I've declared with the let keyword because I may want to change the result down in the rest of the code. So if you want to reassign a new value to a variable, you must declare it with let. Back to the equal sign. When you see the equal sign in programming languages, instead of saying is equal to, I want you to say this, is assigned to. It's a much different way of looking at it. I used to say is set to, but I think is assigned to is more accurate. I'm saying n1, that variable, you are assigned to whatever value is in this input. n2, you're assigned to a number conversion of whatever is put into this input box. Operator, you're assigned to whatever the user has selected on this drop down list. And answer, you're assigned to this paragraph. Result, you're assigned to zero. And then I go through my switch statement to figure out which operator has been selected. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And I'm saying, now result, now change. Now I'm going to assign you to number one plus, minus, multiply, or divided by number two. Then at the end of my function, I'm saying answer, which is this paragraph, your text content property is going to be set to result. But let's do one more statement just to prove my point. After I get done assigning result to zero and then reassigning result to the mathematical addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division of, depending upon which operator is chosen in this drop down list, let's do one more thing. Let's reassign result. I'm assigning you to, let's add some text to that. The result of this operation is, and then use our concatenation operator, otherwise known as the plus sign, but I know it's a concatenation operator here because I've got some string. And then we'll set it, add it to result. Now this type of statement is very common in programming, but it looks extremely awkward to your math brain because in math, remember the left is equal to teeter-totter the right and we have result on both sides so that could never be true but again in programming this is not an equal sign it's an assignment statement so in an assignment statement we we figure out what's going on on the right hand side it's this text and then we concatenate it to the result we take that expression whatever that expression evaluates to and we stick it back into result so let's save and run this code. Let's take 5 and 10, add them together, calculate 
and the result of this operation is 15. So from here on out in your programming languages, when you see this symbol, the equal sign, I want you to change from saying is equal to, which is math class, I want you to change and now say is assigned to. This is programming class. That one change in your brain will make a world of difference and make something like this make sense to you in programming class. Thank you.